Hello friends, thank you for watching this video today. If you are new to our channel, we upload new videos every week on a variety of topics. So go ahead and smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you will always know when we upload new videos. During the coronavirus pandemic, many of us started working from home because of the health risk associated with in-person work. We have been able to work from the comfort of our own homes and spend more time with our families. Our priorities have changed and more of us have started to pursue a healthier lifestyle. Cooking healthy meals at home has become more of a focus for many families. With gyms being closed because of lockdowns many of us have built workout gyms in our garages and basements. In many cases totally reinventing spaces in our homes. In this video we will talk about some of the changes in consumer behavior that has helped Home Depot increase profitability during the COVID-19 pandemic. We are a few months into the pandemic and millions of people have shifted to working at home. Along with this change we have seen a new trend of people moving away from the downtown core into the suburbs. It's not as fun working from home if you are stuck in a cramped up city apartment. Thus the mass exodus to the suburbs. Now that people have found better balance between home and work life they have made use of the extra time to complete small and large home renovations. From do-it-yourself projects like transforming an underutilized bedroom into a home office or even adding a backyard oasis to relax in. Some handy homeowners are getting more creative with their space. During the last decade Home Depot's sales have grown at a rate of 6.9% annually. However, in the nine months ending on October 31st, Home Depot's revenue increased by 15.6% from the same time a year ago. The big change in consumer spending on lifestyle purchases drove a huge increase in profitability. Given the recent growth in sales, Home Depot's operating income has increased by 28.3% over the last three months. The COVID-19 pandemic made finding interesting things to do at home more popular. People looked to within their homes for all of their entertainment needs. People knew that this was a a safe alternative that would minimize the potential for exposure. Now our homes had to be multifunctional. They had to be used as a classroom by day to educate our children from home. Our dens became the center of nightly family entertainment and our garages and basements are workout and meditation spaces. The problem is that many of our homes were not built with these intentions in mind. This is why the local Home Depot store became that much more important. Home Depot's sales spiked when the pandemic first started because people were more focused on simple projects they could do themselves that wouldn't involve outside contractors coming into the home. They became hesitant to start major home renovations as it potentially could require multiple contractors coming in and out of the home. Now that more people are vaccinated against COVID-19 people have started to feel safe enough to employ contractors in their home again. As a result, these contractors are making regular trips to the Home Depot to purchase material for their renovation projects. Home Depot could see revenue growth continue if the housing market remains strong. Professional contractors and builders are likely to drive that momentum. People no longer look at spending money on fixing up their homes as an expense. It's now viewed as an investment, especially in this red-hot housing market. Home Depot stock will continue to be a safe bet way into 2022 as the emergence of the Omicron variant sends the world back into lockdown. Well, that's all for now my friends. Thank you for viewing this video and if you have not done so already, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you will always know when we upload new videos. Until next time, stay safe and healthy, many blessings my friends.